Hey guys, today's for day 41 and I want to talk about what are the things you can be expect from, you know, your first three, four months of remote selling. Just really based on my experience and based on the RP experience, uh, I can give you a quick one rundown, right? So if you want to get into this industry, first, you can expect it to be really confusing because it's not like any other job that you just can go to LinkedIn, Seek, Indeed, and look for a job. No. Because for this type of job, you literally need to go to Facebook for some free stuff, or you pay for sales community. Then they can actually show you where's the best opportunities, or they present it to you. All right, so in the first three, three four months, you you be looking for offer, you be looking for job that you can do. You do you will do a bunch of interview and just feel like nobody ever actually wants to accept you. Which is a crazy thing, right? And even if you do sales before, right? They won't even accept you. Unless you do B2B enterprise sales. Then there's a moment you that you feel like you you lost, you you stuck in you just couldn't figure it out. Sometimes you wish that hmm, maybe I should do something else. Maybe some I should just go back to do another job. Maybe I should I just you know do something that easy. But then you you, you remember that you only been in the skin for about what three four months. So why are you rushing yourself? Why are you thinking about stuff that? Hasn't, hasn't even come to that level yet. So then you get yourself together. You are then, you know, actually talk to yourself too and okay, let's calm down. Let's, you know, let's do this together. Let's actually make it make sense because I'm just getting ahead of myself right here, you know. Then you actually land that offer. It could be a friend that you made in the search journey that present to you this offer and you start to work in for it for it. Okay, then you jump the offer, you you learn all these things. And you, if you didn't have sales experience, you'd be like, what the hell is going on? What are these guys talking about? You feel a bit nervous, you feel a bit sweaty every time you jump on the phone to do some setting, right? Because they're not gonna actually do closing most of the time. And you'd be like, wow, this this it's not as easy as taught, right? But you put in the work, the training over the week, over the days, getting better. The process getting easier. Yes, you know exactly what's what's the prospect going to tell you. Then you just start to get consistent. You start to become really good. Then bam, you're closer. But then there's many things along the way that you know I haven't tell you. So one of the thing that I wanted to give advice to you, my grain of salt on this is the biggest thing is when you if you want to get in this industry is to actually pay to win. A lot of people they try to do this the free way, but then again you're gonna pay in frustration, you're gonna pay in stress, you're gonna pay in so many months you try to figure out everything out you look for a good offer an actual quality offer that an actual business when i'm saying you can't just pay somebody to actually be in the sales community that who's you know respectable in the in in the industry they get consistent job offer and they give you the good high quality training it presents you con recording that you can watch and you can emulate you can talk to other guys in the community that you can make friends then you can be there support each other you know chum on meeting together do corn recording do role play do mock play and life is feel way easier you know the biggest thing you don't have to do this alone there's a way out there's a way for you to make this easier okay and unfortunately the reality of life is you just gotta pay for it that's why the biggest thing is like personally I didn't do it 
that I didn't go into this having saving. But if you if you do have at least ten thousand dollars saved, why? Because you can actually then put into a self train program that can actually help you to get to where you want to go quicker and easier and more efficiently with less bullshit in the, along the way. Right. So that's the thing, guys. So the number one lesson: pay to win. That's in life. That's in everything. And that's where you be- make the best connection. And to be honest, God, meet any guys that you meet online, meet them up in real life. We gotta remove all this like online stuff. You know, we actually meet in real life and actually see each other. That's the most important thing. Next thing is, yeah, just do that. And to be honest, probably one biggest thing is your mental, mental mind, your mindset. If you don't get your mindset right in this game, and you understand, okay, you have to put one step forward every single day. Doesn't matter how you feel at the moment. If you don't understand that and actually use it, you you cannot last in this game because it's all. It's the inner game. It's all in the game. It's not who the smartest. It's not who the strongest. It's a combination of everything. It's who lasts longest and who can see opportunity when it presents itself and actually take it by the top. And the problem is most people don't even buy more than they can chew. Even when you have an offer, constantly apply for an offer. Constantly chew on a job interview. Make connection. Get their get the business on the email. Get their name. Get them to see your face. Cause you might not need the offer now, but later on you can. Cause you never know where the the connection go. Cause it might love you. It might be, hey brother, you want a job? I actually got this offer open up, and you can actually move. You always want to have ammo that you're ready to launch and shot and shoot when you need to make a change. Because you never know when the offer that you're on right now can f- instantly mess up and they could, you got no more lead to call them. It happened to me. And I didn't make any money. Luckily for me, because I live with my parents, so in my parents' house, so I don't have to pay. So I don't have to worry that much. But imagine, you have to pay for your own rent and you're in that situation. Can you do it? So make sure you have that. So make some type of, some money safe. Understand, put your back against the one, actually put a hundred percent effort into it, but making sure that you be ready for anything that might come up. You, I know you, you figure out, I know that you can actually do this and figure out because you're a smart person, but make sure that you have a team connection that can get you move forward as quick as possible, okay. If you want to join a free Australian sales community, comment below and I will send you the link in the comment. Anyways guys, thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.